I assume. If there was, I'm sure you guys would have sent me fucking clips of it. At least, like, the dunks. Michael Knowles, Pepe La. They were literally calling for us to be in prison and say we're terrorists of the state. The only thing keeping them from acting on domestic terrorism at this point is the belief in their delusion that Trump will still win, and it's honestly scary as fuck. No, it's not scary as fuck. He's so incompetent. Best two months, FR father. Also, thanks for saying my drawing style is awesome. Made my dad do that, Hassan Abbey. Coming as a Trump supporter, Didn't coming as a Trump voter, kind months. of strange when you call anyway, all Trump supporters dumb hogs. Fine. When it's obvious that you are not smart yourself, as a Trump supporter, finish Dark Souls. Good luck achieving anything like that. <laughs> Good one. Three months with the lads. What chair is that? It looks all mesh, and I need to all mesh chair. You're pretty good at misrepresenting people's arguments and attacking that misrepresentation, hey? Oh, really? Hell Maybe yeah. you should like me then. If you're a Republican, then you should fucking enjoy that sort of behavior. If you think that I'm doing that. Because that's literally all Republicans do, all day long. You say you support democracy, but you won't let us vote to watch you play Bugs Next or Sly Cooper. Champagne Socialist. Are you retiring from streaming in 2021? No, I'm not. Hi, chat. <sighs> anyway, I, I missed out on two ads. It's top of the hour. I got to run, I got to run a, at least one ad right now because I've missed out on running ads this entire time. We're going to run uh, at least a 60 second ad break here. If you no longer want to see the ads, all you need to do is subscribe. After that, we're going to do some more fun stuff. We're gonna, we'll take a look at this uh, a little bit further. Okay, here, is, here it is. Well, I got to turn on the AC. probably upset a lot of the people who come in here in the margins who are like willing to bug snacks willing to change their minds and uh might have pushed them away for a second but god damn dude judge Denise says bar can't see beyond fellow reptiles i did do uh the the p.o box already yeah What can I say to a friend that likes Tim Pool? I mean, ask him why Tim Pool said that Trump was going to win every single state and how that didn't happen. And why he's like lying to himself. That's the other thing I don't understand. Like... Like what happens when the chickens come home to roost, right? Like what happens when inevitably uh, they they I assume they will come to terms with the fact that that Trump didn't win and he lost. Yeah. Thank you, Tweedle Dumb, for the five through one gift subs. Look at the look at the ambulances. 
Look at this. The gifts. Oh, fifteen dollars from Ted Kaczynski. Ted Kaczynski in the house. Wow. What? Ted Kaczynski in the house? Still believes wow. that Trump has a chance to win. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, the wait a minute. Yeah. That is <laughs> the Unabomber just gave him twenty dollars. <laughs> Look at the party popper. Why is that whenever I debate an idiot right wing, they always go logical extremes to tell you the hush? For instance, when I say I support abortion choice, I say, oh, you want all kids nine months to be aborted? Say yes, dude. Or flip it on them. Why don't you just flip it on them? By being like, why do you want women to be fucking locked into pregnancies? Why do you want the, the fucking... Why do you want a child to be born if it's a product of incestuous rape? Why do you love it when fathers fuck their underage daughters and you want that daughter to carry the pregnancy to term? There you go. That's a fucking, that's, that's a, a pro-lifer, that's a pro-lifer stance. They have to be on board with that. If all the babies that are being murdered are being murdered at nine months, babies. then all the fucking abortions are a consequence of incestuous rape. It's more of a third world thing. Uh, yeah, you're right. America is a third world country. So especially where uh, people that have opinions like you uh, live. You know, wherever people assume like all the bad things happen in the third world, those areas unironically do resemble the third world because of fucking idiots like you and their reactionary points of view where people can literally just lie to you and be like, no, 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 we're going to fuck the Mexicans over. Don't worry. And then you open your mouth up and you go, please, more. Oh, and you, like the hog you are, advocate for literal policies that turn your wealthy fucking state into a, a third world country. Oh, I guess you are my little fog chill. <laughs> I mean, for a guy who said all lies matter, he is, he is, he is very cute. But aren't most pro-lifers okay with abortion when it's rape, incest, or a mother's health, or am I wrong? Uh, not in Alabama, they're not. Also, it doesn't fucking matter. Because 90% of abortions happen in the first trimester. When they are making an argument that, like, you, as a Democrat, want to, ha want to have an abortion, like, literally, as it's coming out of the fucking vagina, then it's the same exact fucking argument. You're just flipping it on its head. It's a bad faith argument that they're making, so you make the same bad faith argument. Did Terry actually say that? Yeah, he's, he, he kind of sucks. He's like also, from what I understand, very vehemently anti-sex work. Like, he's, he's like a porn addiction guy. He's a sexual or harassment apologist? No, that's not true. What the fuck? Wasn't he sexually assaulted? Fuck you mean he's an apologist? Why do you do the cancel culture thing if this dude sucks forever because he believes something I don't like? Is that what I said? I even watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Did I say this dude sucks forever? I literally said, I know he said all lives matter, but he's still such a cute guy.
And I also pushed back against someone who literally said he's a sexual assault apologist. And I corrected the record by saying, no, he was the one who got sexually assaulted. So that's, that's unironically the fucking opposite of, that is unironically the opposite of cancel culture. I think you probably see someone who's functionally on the left and you think, oh, he said all lives matter. I hit the keywords for you. So you just assumed I meant like, fuck Terry Crews. I hate him. You know, he, you know, fuck him forever. So weird. Okay, I'll go to LSF now. We're watching a charity stream and just ripping this guy apart while he's raising money for families that need it. Ripping this guy apart? I was totally defending him against someone who just said like something to the opposite of what had happened to him. Ripping him apart. God damn, bro. Yo, <laughs> Republicans are so stupid, dude. <laughs> He's like, like, you just don't listen, do you? I mean, you're just stupid. So there's no reason to take you seriously. This is what, I, this is what I'm talking about. Why should I take you seriously when you're so fucking stupid that you don't hear the words that are coming out of my goddamn mouth, dude? Twitch removes blind playthrough tag for being offensive to blind people. I'm sure that this comment section is fucking great. Ori and the visually impaired forest. Time to rename Twist is my brother with Tourette's Twitches. Justin TV is a problematic name too. Imagine having a brother named Justin who died reminded of it every day. I mean, to be fair, it is. He did get sexually assaulted, but he's still a sexual assault apologist. Wait, he is? What the fuck? I mean, of course people are going to meme about this, dude. I already talked about it. It's like, it is a little, it is a little out there. At least these misguided chatters are here. Maybe they do really want to be better. No, half the time it's their content. Their fun is like thinking that they got one off on a lefty. That's what it is. Low hanging fruit. S Fang gets a package from Korea. There's no. It's empty. I got an empty box. Come on. What? Wow. Man, that sucks. Well, let's try opening this one much more carefully. So I'm going to take this and carefully. No way. Wow, there's a lot of heat in this thing. How did you get here? This is insane. Chat, it's Ginny. Okay, return to sender. Yeah, we're gonna return to sender. Finn! Finn! Pog! It's back, season two. Asmongold, blind reaction. Well, two separate things happened, Arjun. Thank God. Terry was did his whole Me Too thing, then when a colleague of You know, every single time that I did a blind playthrough of a game. Happened. Terry is a piece of dog shit. She called him babe on stream the other day. So they def fucking dude. Y'all are code. Miko wants to get in touch. I don't know how to get in touch with her. I guess discord. Tell her to uh, DM me on discord or something. I don't know. The goal the of that word Zane? was to degrade people with disabilities. I want to let you know that. It wasn't because it was a metaphor that was used in the English language for thousands of years. Of course not. The sole and only goal of me using the word blind playthrough was to degrade people with disabilities. Because I am a terrible person 
And that was my only intent whenever I did that thing. I'm sorry, guys. But it's good to see people like, uh, I'm not going to show their name on- Oh, did she tweet at me? What's her Twitter? Okay, guys. If I do interact with Code Miko, you guys can't be fucking weird, okay? Because... Because honestly, like... I'm going in blind to this discussion. What's going on? On stream, bro, you have to do some type of the work, man. Shut the fuck up and tell me what code Miko's Twitter is right now before I ban you. You have to do some type of the work. Too late. We were hella weird last night in the raid. Really? Hey, thank you, Fizz. Oops. Because then it'll probably get harassed by my stupid fucking viewers. Some of you guys making me look like an asshole. Speaking of assholes, I think they're assholes. This is stupid. The English language is a living... Well... I think it's overcorrective as fuck. Nick reads the news. Wait a minute, it's... But I just, like, don't make a big deal out of it one way or the other. Anyone being a fucking weirdo will be banned here permanently, even if they do it in our chat and or on our social media. Yeah, it's actually real. What's real? Yeah, well, you will get joke. banned. What was the joke? Twitch removes blind playthrough tag for being offensive to blind people. What the fuck? Are they going to remove soy from all stores because it's offensive to you? Wait a minute, it's actually real. What's real? <laughs> Good one. Rolled. S fan on blind playthrough. God damn. I was one of the first that fucking reacted to this shit. Not a single one of you guys clipped it, huh? Let's My see how it is. My favorite game is Ori and the Visually Impaired Forest Wide Heart. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause Lurch for a second, okay? So Twitch has to I guess maybe because uh, you know, it wasn't it wasn't like like a meme or something because you have shit takes pago because your take was one hour long yeah. the name now cause of people with Tourette's <laughs> up next no speed runs because fat gamers can't do them <laughs> okay okay listen let's move beyond all this okay Cause these are all like kind of like the. Let, let's move beyond that, okay? Like let's let's. <laughs> Blind people can't even read the tab. Okay, shut the fuck up. This like this is like low effort shit. Jenny's list. I I have a tons of lists that I want to do. Really? And, yeah, and one of them is you. I I have. Hi, Dad. Now that blind playthrough is removing the tags, how will runner guy two four eight nine tag his runs under warning loud? I think that shooter one is hitting me. I think. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Uh, Yolo. No fucking way, dude! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What does he do? I love your one hour takes to you. Okay. okay. I think. I just don't understand how how you do that even as we go with a huge announcement well by the way the fucking coo of like able gamers literally said that is a blind playthrough like he said that's literally a blind playthrough that's not even a joke like he the coo of able gamers would consider that to be an actual blind playthrough
because I know this announcement is going to come as quite a surprise to many of you guys. It wouldn't necessarily be expected. But the reason why I'm wearing a hat today... What? Is because I didn't shower. Oh my god, I thought there was something else going on, dude. I thought he buzzed his entire head or something. Fuck. Is, doesn't Asmin go shower all that much? Like, I thought that was the meme. S fan proposes the genie feels strong, man. Oh, God. Is LSF going to be this now? Oh, yikes, dude. I mean, it doesn't matter. I rarely go on LSF lately, you, lately anyway. It's just going to be like out of context. Out of context, Dr. K clips every time he has a fucking uh, session. Out of context, genie and S fan clips that imply that they're dating. Uh, and then maybe every now and then we'll have a flavor of the month where like everyone can get together and, and get upset. At least back in the day, there was like one Asian cutie a month. You know what I mean? That would pop the fuck off. They removed one of the best parts of LSF. <laughs> what happened? I want to marry you, Ginny. Uh -huh. Ginny, I want to marry you. I love you. Uh -huh. I love you, Ginny. Excuse me, pulls a dark Charizard. Ponita. And, 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 and. Nanyamite. Bro, this motherfucker's hands are nowhere near as bad as mine, dude. I thought he, I thought he fucked his fingies up. Like, I, I literally thought he actually fucking chewed on them, on them bad boys. Is it, that's his hands, right? Hassan, she said it herself. Who? Bro, first of all, let me just get something straight about the blind playthrough shit. Okay? Let me, let me tell you something. Not a single person is saying, like, you can't say blind playthrough anymore. Okay? He, as his girlfriend, his fingers need to be clean. What? I mean, we're going to go through. He chooses between the index and the thumb. Nah, that's that's pussy shit, dude. Hey, want to see some real fucked up cuticles, dude? Hey, here we go. You see that? That's the real shit. Fucking excuse. He's got fucking fake cuticle biter, dude. Look at that. I mean, I even got the fucking calluses in here, too. I ripped those, too. Yeah. They're not too bad right now. Yeah, actually, they really aren't that bad currently. Thank you for the best two months. Sometimes they're the really boyfriend. fucked up. What happened to your fingers? 29 years of chewing on these bad boys. 29 fucking years of nonstop, of endlessly... Endlessly ripping them, tearing them to fucking shreds every every moment. I guess I feel anxiety or anything like that, and this is what you get. Hi. Since I was born, I mean, since I was like a baby, yeah. Worse when you pull the skin and it stays on, and you have to keep pulling. Not great. Okay. Cool. I'll chew them for you. And meow and coughing and for the legendary. Oh my god! I'm joining the fem hassle. Oh my god! It's all. Ooh, 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 warning loud. Whoops. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we told Ko Miko your weakness was girls with bangs. 
Wait, you didn't say my weakness was nameless, King? Nice. No reason to be ashamed, S fan. Okay, look at this. Seven seconds. I'm not even joking. Seven seconds. I'm gonna tell them. I never understood the value of collector's items. I don't really get it either. One part of is one aspect of nerd culture that I don't really get. I didn't do any of that, dude. Wait, five hundred. Oh, Miss Kiss a woman. Thank you, Miss Kim. Thank you, Miss Kim. You're awesome. We I'm really done appreciate streaming. you. There we I'm go. I'm done, dude. No, go I'm done you know, you streaming. Fuck Listen, you guys. Listen, your donation for you. Fuck you guys. Fuck oh, you no, guys. I guess, no. You guys, I fucking hate Twitch, man. Anything <laughs> like that. Dude, I didn't do any of that. Yet. Wait, 500. POV, you are Hassan's tendies. Tyler One's voice cracks again. could restart the stream before they see it i could actually if i was fake as fuck i could stop the stream right now discard the delay and you guys never even see that let's try it again see this is what i don't understand about tyler's voice cracking i feel like his voice is always cracking mr moon's thoughts about maya what Gotcha, bird keeper, bitch. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, Mr. Mooton. Hassan receives a special gift for his fetish. The grass is greener under my wing. Really? Really? It's rat porn. Yeah, it's from the John Oliver segment. It's not even good rat porn. It's like, why did I say it like that? <laughs> oh, that was dumb to say. That was dumb as fuck. Not good, folks. I've seen better rat porn. It's on rat fuck obby. Ugh, why do they send second class rat porn? Excuse you, but it's rat erotica. If you're gonna send us on rat porn, it better be that good shit. <laughs> Single mother plays Jenga with her special needs child. Is this a technique? Is that actually? But yeah, it does take a while, so be patient, guys. Meanwhile, I'm just doing interviews so that I can stop making new stuff and um, just focus on that. His weakness is hot older women like Sarah Palin. Oh, really? I mean, I know like Hassan's really into politics and stuff, so it kind of makes sense. It doesn't Come make on. Sense. Come on, chat. But <laughs> I don't know if it's true. But yeah, it does. Oh, thank God. Ay, ay, ay. Best part of the Miko raid last night? Because it's not nerd culture anymore, it's fucking capitalism. Just make him make her into Hassan looking, okay? So go. I'm going to actually No 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 no. Don't do cheers. No, don't do cheers. Actually, we probably could Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I you saw this live, dude. Cheers. Nah, I shouldn't I shouldn't have put cheers. I no, watched this live, no, motherfuckers. No, I, I'm gonna I'm not gonna put cheers on. Okay. Let me take let me take my my video off, actually. And you guys do words. You just have to do Oh my god! Oh, what did you do? Guys, that's not what Hassan looks like. That is not. Oh my god.
That is not. <laughs> My game is having having trouble. And then I guess at the moment because like, they can't handle. And this. then Chad is always like. Whenever someone says something nice about me and I'm surprised by it, Chad's always like, why are you surprised? We love you. Bitch, this is how you treat me all day. You understand? So in my mind, like, this is, not like this is all I get life. from Chad. <laughs> well, his head is that small that it's important. Tough love? Man, it's not tough love. What the fuck do you mean it's tough love? Harris chat talking shit in Braille. This guy wrote his donation message in Braille. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks, thank Siraj Atan and uh, Ryan Unlimited. That's fucked up, man. You know they... No one was ever picking on blind people. I've never made a blind person joke or any of that shit. And now people are picking on blind people because of this. If they had left... Okay, Harris is funny, but it's like... It's also because people are dicks. <laughs> like, it's the fucking people that are making fun of blind people that are the responsible party here, you know what I mean? Not fucking all these other people. Left it alone, no one would have said anything about blind people. And now look at all this fucking chat is full of people writing in Braille. <laughs> That's, f I've never in my 36 years ever thought of Braille humor. <laughs> Thank you. That is unreal. I can't believe it. We have stooped. Damn, Aries is fucking 36 years old. He really doesn't hide it well. To a new level, we're talking shit in Braille. And the Braille is flat. So. Get up in there. Oh, I'm just fucking kidding, dude. I'm, also, I'm 29. I'm old as fuck, too. Yeah, he doesn't look a day over 45. Chill out. It's a fucking joke, man. Oh, my God. You'll be there soon? It's like looking into your future? It's like looking into my past, motherfucker. Classic McConnell. Let me go ahead and show you guys what's in my mailbox. You're fucking awesome, man. We do love you. It's time for us like to get to a little bit of stuff here. You shit. Wait, where are the where are the mailboxes in Orbos? Where the fuck are they? I don't even know where to go. Okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna drop my own. Who cares? It's east. Oh, who cares? I'll just drop my own mailbox. Why don't you check your ass? I heard there's a lot of mail in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Okay. Very good. All right. That's fucking that's, got him, dude. Uh, all right. Yeah, real fucking funny, dude. Fucking got okay, him, dude. Okay, let's see. We'll Let me go ahead and show you guys. Your hair looks nice today, by the way. Thank you. That's what I need. Friendly fire. Friendly fire six. A yearly. <laughs> you guys like that? That was for you. Friendly Fire 6, a yearly German charity stream just raised 1 million in 12 hours. Bro, these are the most German looking motherfuckers I've ever seen, dude. They're so funny. I love German people. OTK traditional greeting. It's yeah, yeah, it's really annoying. Okay. <laughs> Terry Crews wholesome moment with his son. Have been helped. I think it's time for you guys to sing a thousand miles. This is it. it. Oh, boy. It's time. Are we, we gonna hit it? Right oh, no, no. I know Vanessa. Oh, it's my. all good. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for a thousand miles. Y'all ready? Here we go. Did he just make a copyright joke? Did Terry Crews just make a copyright joke? 
thousand miles. Making my way downtown. What do you mean you're the third hottest? Who the fuck is the first and second then? Walking fast, faces fast, and homebound. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Stand back behind, it's making my way, making my way through the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and I need you, <laughs> and I miss you, <laughs> and now I wonder if I could fall into the sky. Bro, it'd be pretty funny if they DMCA'd him. Do you think time would pass me by? Cause you know I walk a thousand miles I have been helped. I mean, I guess I would get DMCA'd as well. Why are you drinking Diet Coke instead of Diet Mountain Dew? I always switch it over to Diet Coke later in the day when I'm eating. Code Miko mods are five head. Oh, and by the way, I also, um, you need to, you need to clean my bathtub and my toilet and scrub the floor. And oh, well, I don't, I don't mind that part. What? Well, that part's like the highlight of my day. You like cleaning my toilet? Oh, yeah. Who Why? wouldn't, right, chat? Why? I had no reason. Are you trying to scalp for my bath water? And my toilet water? Maybe. Hey, Hassan, love your it's expensive, you know? If I pay market value for that, I can't afford that on a mod salary. But if I scavenge it myself, that stuff's royalty free. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, Jorm! For the oh, and by the way, Dude. The hottest streamer is Ludwig hands down. Sorry, Hassan, but you are a close third. Weak to vegans? Okay, weakness? Wait, what is his weaknesses? Wait, what is his weakness? Stun lock? What would his strengths and weaknesses be? What if, what if, what is his strengths and his weaknesses be? Stun lock? What does that mean? Okay, what is his weakness? Vegans like is his weakness? Vegans? Vegans? Why are vegans we his weakness? <laughs> what would his strength be? And also, what kind of like... What would his... <laughs> chicken tenders? What do you see? Is he just gonna get infinitely stronger as more like as more chicken tenders you feed him? Well, you. This is the person I uh, uh, raided last night. Did you see the ass ham the chat made her last night? No. It's so good. Being baited to get a promotion and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, well I'm gonna work really hard so that I can get this promotion. So I didn't go to Korea at the earlier of this year. Um, my sister and my parents went, and and my grandma, you know, was fine then, and she had like her memories and stuff like that. So October came along, and my mom was like, "You really should go, you know, see your grandma because she's like doing worse and stuff." And then like so, and then I got the news that I was getting laid off at the end of October, and then so I was like, "Okay, well then I'm just gonna take, you know, I'm gonna take this." day to leave and my boss got really upset like he got really really upset um and he was like don't you care about my project i was like pokimane is a queen asian cutie poggers i'm wrong with you people dude With his live new diet, people hate. Oh, I can't believe Andrea ate hemorrhoid cream. I didn't eat it. I accidentally ingested it. Oh, okay. Accident. Oh, I can't believe Andrea.
Andrea ate hemorrhoid cream. I didn't. Have you done banana peels? No. No banana peels today. S fan says Ginny is coming soon. We already saw that. Ginny's leaking. She's in Texas now. Did a guitar hero DMCA. We already saw this. I'm mid. Love your work, bud. You condemned Alyssa for not having Asian cuties anymore once a month. What's wrong with you, sir? That was a descriptive statement more. Look, man, I know it's not okay, buddy, Tom, but I clipped the best part of your P.O. box. I really think you should look at it. All right, it's P.O. box time. Let's do it. All right, it's P.O. Box time. It's perfect. I literally can't shit on you. Like, usually I, I have something to say, but you did it. You got me. There's nothing I can say about it. That's very good. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations, dude. You did it. You got me. Nothing I can say to that one. Son of a bitch. Cyberpunk? Wait, what is Body, I'll fucking dick. Why do you come? Welcome. Why do you come? Welcome. In 2077, what makes someone a criminal? Getting caught. In Night City, you can become. If I need your body, I'll fucking. Dude, I'm so excited. I might actually make a separate. I might finally make a separate stream. Like a second channel. Just to not destroy my analytics. To just like play this nonstop. Why? I worry that like. I worry that I, I won't be able to, like, I worry that the amount of time I want to play it, like the amount of hours I want to put into playing this, uh, game would ruin my, my analytics. Like it would just ruin it. It would tank it. Yo. I'd be a 1k Andy. Um, can I show, can I teach Azan how to pull? I mean, if he wants to become a real man, yeah, but I don't fucking break that shit, dude. What is she talking about? I don't know if he has That's it buff. in him. I think he's going to be all right. Like, I think people are going to be talking about this game for a while. Ass so him. The punk game may end up being shit, sadly. Toxic masculinity much? Yeah. I see that you have fish in your name. I'm not even going to... I'm not going to wait for you to say something that's so fucked up that I, I ban you. I'm just going to ban you preemptively, okay? Impression of you today? Uh, I need your clothes. I, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. Weasley little liars! That's Weasley! Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
I'm trying to have him for this interview, guys. I'm trying to have him for this interview. Please don't ruin my chances. Okay? Do not... Ow. That, that hurt my throat. How does he yell all that stuff without it hurting us? Uh, I need your clothes. I... Literally the most anticipated game for the decade. Your analysts would likely do great. Chat, I know it's dead already, but I have found no, a second won't. honest streamer. Just... It is. Wait it literally it. won't. My analytics won't be... My analytics... So, so we're gonna talk... It won't be uh, great, because... We'll see. We'll see what happens. I like your about more new character. interesting stuff you should know some things cyberpunk 2077 is doing that is a bit different from your average open world game now we've already done 10 things you need to know before the game releases and then the game got delayed again so consider this five more significantly interesting things you should know too let's get started off with number five and talk about vehicles the fact that you can't just steal any vehicle you want this isn't a future town Grand Theft Auto, goddammit. This is an RPG for adults. According to CD Projekt Red's senior level designer, Miles Tost, during a Night City livestream, when you're thrust down onto the open streets of the game, you can't immediately just run up to a car and smash a triangle button to steal it or anything like that. Now that might seem obvious to some RPG fans, of course, but some folks might find it kind of jarring, you know? Apparently, you have to focus on certain specific stats to be able to get to the ability to commandeer your vehicles from random NPCs. Just judging from previews and information that's been outlined already, it seems like the game is a little bit more focused around the act of you getting your own car and earning that car more than just carjacking random people. Apparently, you can't keep the cars that you steal, but the game does give you the opportunity to pretty much acquire any car you want through the more official means, so there's that at least. But if you see a cool car on the street, you can't just steal it, drive it back to a garage and store it. I think this is an interesting approach because I like the idea of making it feel Feel like your car is important. Your car is your thing, just like in The Witcher 3. You didn't see Geralt jumping on a bunch of other horses, right? No, Roach was his horse, and that was the whole thing. Still, ultimately, very curious to see how this goes down, and all of the stuff that we talk about in this video, all the info if you want to read up more on it, all of it is going to be sourced and linked in the description down below. Now over at number four, another very unique, different thing is that there's a cool stat and street credit you can earn. But don't worry, it's not as like goofy or cringy as it sounds. So the main core attributes, the main stuff you give your character are breakdown as body, intelligence, reflexes, technical, and then cool. So body, intelligence, you know, reflexes, stuff like that is pretty self-explanatory, but what the hell does cool do? According to IGN, they have the cool stat labeled as dealing with willpower and self-control. Apparently this stat well, helps with resistances, critical hit damage stuff, good. and stealth. Which honestly just sounds like straightforward RPG stat stuff. I was kind of expecting the cool stat to just be a little different. Maybe it still will affect things in-game a bit differently. But then in terms of just funky, cool cyberpunk things, there's also street cred that I mentioned. Street cred, short for street perks, essentially, is kind of like a side quest experience that you build up. According to a CD Projekt Red interview with PC Games N, there's main, regular, old, good old-fashioned XP. You earn this and level up through doing standard regular main story missions, then there's street cred. You earn this and level this up through doing side quests and side missions and side experiences. I feel like this is when I'm, oh, it's ad time. Top of the hour, every hour, six second ad break. I feel like this is what I'm gonna be fucking doing uh, uh, off stream. <laughs> All right, here's the ad. This is apparently where things get more interesting because the higher your street cred ranking, essentially, it works as like an in-game reputation, assumingly giving you access to more stuff, and it seemingly ties in pretty closely because some equipment that you can equip will actually give you a street cred boost. So, from what we've seen so far, it seems like CD Projekt Red is emphasizing that the street cred and the main XP are both very important things and essentially tie into one another and maybe incentivizes players to pursue more side activities more often. Of course, there's a lot more to touch on about character building we did highlight that in another video we will link that in the description i'm gonna play it on pc i'm low-key thinking about buying a new pc right now like like some like a 3080 so i can max this shit out if i can I don't think I can like purchase one, right? I, I it's going to be a pre-built I make you custom or 3090 so or whatever the fuck. Design do you want for me to make you? But I won't be able to make it myself. I have to get like NZXT or someone to to make it for me.
It has to be a pre-built. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to build it myself. Don't be crazy. Can you even buy pre-builds with 3080s? Well, that's why I'm saying that, like, I have to probably go to, uh, like, want a crosshair discount? No, I don't want a discount. Like, I I'll buy everything on my own. I don't give a shit. But I feel like half the stuff that I... Recommended specs are fucking ridiculous. Yeah, they're ridiculously low, if that's what you mean. They make it seem like it's the best optimized game on the fucking planet. No. I'm not going to be your pathetic little fucking content slave who tries to build a PC on stream just so you guys can fucking laugh at it and like debate me half the way. Okay, it's not going to happen. 30 series cards are hard to get. If you want one, you need to buy a pre-built probably. Yeah. You just brag all the time, man. Wait, what? What did I say? That's a brag, you fucking idiot. No, when I say I don't need a, I don't need a, a, a fucking discount. My anger isn't about, my fear isn't about getting a discount or how much it's going to cost. It's about getting the specific parts. If you work at Crosshair or Corsair or however you say, it, you can, and you can secure me some of these parts and like build it, then fuck yeah. What car do you even have? I have a 2080 Ti. RTX 3090s are easy to find and 50% better, but $1,500. Will you get PC? Will's PC? No. Someone like Christopher Yee might be able to help you. He's a Twitch streamer that does PC stuff. NZXD re, uh, DM'd me a while ago when I first got my PlayStation 5. And, they, uh, and, and I thought like maybe I could get something from them. But they didn't reply to my DM. I said, I want to get a supercomputer. Any suggestions? And they didn't reply. Don't get an H1 case if you... You're not going to have a custom build in five days, man. That's why I'm fucking reaching out to NZXT so they can hook it up. That's the point. I've reached out to them so they can fucking hook it up. Cause I, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not going to be able to get it on my own right now. If I go and purchase it now. Unless you're planning to play in 4K mass settings, your 2080 Ti will be able to do 1440p max like Breeze. Yeah, but I want to fucking blast it. Probably should have called it a server computer rather than a supercomputer. What? They don't sell the H1 cases. I have a... I have a fucking uh, NZXD case. Could just buy the card instead of the whole PC? No, 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 no. No, the point is, I I'm thinking really about, cool I I'm thinking about getting like, a, like, you know, better, I mean, like specs, better specs across the board. You have a single PC streaming, so you need to, you need more power for sure. It's not a huge difference in power, but it would probably help. Yeah. down below but we wanted to point out more of the unique stuff like this 
Now over at number three, this one's a bit off topic, but still very cool and worth highlighting for some people. So CD Projekt Red took the time to add some features that really help out streamers and other content creators, whether you're an amateur or a pro, or you're just doing it for fun. I'm sure you've seen all the DMCA stuff that's been hitting Twitch creators pretty hard. CD Projekt Red actually added some features that will make streaming Cyberpunk doable. Cyberpunk 2077 technically has a streamer mode you can activate. They allow you to turn off nudity and they also allow you to turn off all the licensed music and replace it with original music. It'll essentially disable certain tracks that would cause some issues while you're streaming and get flagged with Twitch's system. You can stream Cyberpunk without worrying about getting hit with a DMCA claim for licensed music or have your stream get taken down because of nudity. Honestly, we kind of see this as becoming a new trend in games. Some games have done it in some ways, but the way Cyberpunk is implementing it seems pretty special and very attentive to the current state of the internet. It's probably going to become more of a trend, especially with how big Twitch has gotten and just how big Let's Plays continue to be on YouTube. For some smaller and truthfully bigger devs, streaming can technically help their game out quite a bit, so you might as well- Wow. Wait, I thought that, uh, I thought that we should be paying the, the video game companies for additional licensing. So weird that, um, so weird that some of these massive fucking publishers recognize that you know, it's probably better for them overall that uh, streamers get to play their games. So weird. Where's that Stadia guy now? Don't turn off nudity? No, video game nudity is allowed on Twitch, so of course I'm not going to fucking turn it off. Actually, it probably won't be allowed, isn't it? We'll toss in some features to help it out. Because honestly, it even helps us out, really. Down to number two, something that seems unique about the game, what Cyberpunk is trying to do here, uh, there's no other way to really explain it other than that the garbage and stuff is insanely detailed. Now, we can't technically show this. I don't, we don't really have any visual examples to show in the game yet because we don't have the game yet, so bear with us. Though, according to a Polish interview with Paul Sasko, uh, the lead quest designer, he said, and I quote, if you look into trash bins, you will find out that even trash is designed instead of just... Dude, how the fuck did they do this? And it's like well optimized for, I just don't understand. Do you have a micro center nearby? No, man, I live in fucking, I live in West Hollywood. I feel cyberpunk is going to be a lot slower than people expect, and a lot of people won't like that. The main story is 50 Just hours. Just making yeah. generic trash, we took boxes and items we made for the environment and modeled trash using them. So that might sound like a throwaway thing, but if you think about what that really means, it's interesting, and it just kind of speaks volume to the level of detail they're going for here. So stuff you'll see out in the world, be it on tables, on shelves, in the environment. The trash in garbage cans in the game is modeled after those same items, because like in the real world, you know, if there's a bunch of cans of Coca-Cola, Cola around, there are going to be crunched up cans of Coca-Cola in a garbage can somewhere. Usually in video games, there's no connection. A garbage can and the garbage around it is modeled as just generic plain garbage. Here, it's got lore. <laughs> in Cyberpunk 2077, the garbage has world building. Can you believe it? Still, it's a small example and it sounds really stupid, but I, like I said, I think it really does a good job of pointing out. Micro Center and Tustin? Bro, where the fuck is Tustin? My guy, how many hours of a drive is fucking Tustin? Like, I don't even know it's, that Tustin is a place in California. I just, this is the first time I heard about it. Out what they're going for here in terms of detail that you're probably going to discover on tons of stuff. Not just the garbage, but cars, signs, everyday items that people use in the game, clothing, you name it. I mean, they're working on cyberpunk lore. You know, they're pulling stuff from the cyberpunk tabletop game rule books, which were filled with tons of details on cool tech and just stuff built up in this Night City world. The potential is high for really, really awesome stuff, and we're really looking forward to it. Now down to number one, according to recent interviews, you can actually beat Cyberpunk 27, technically, without actually finishing the main quest. That might sound crazy to you or just confusing, but it's also just RPG as hell. A big old game like this is designed for you to just kind of get in it, get lost in it, and just continue to do stuff and choose to do whatever you want. And maybe you don't want to pursue the main quest or you want to go at it your own way. Well, apparently, according to Paolo Sasco, the game is designed for tons of different options. He said, and I quote, those subplots allow us to do something that we have never done before. They change the main plot of the game, and they are doing that in such a way that you may not even finish the main plot, but still finish the game and get a completely different epilogue than the player with a different life path who made different choices 